I thought I'd finished. I said I'd finished, but I really hadn't. The problem was this large grey area, my, my good shed loading area, just wasn't happy with it. It's just too large and expansive of boring grey. So we're going to sculpt a bit of landscape onto it. So what I've done is I've cut and stuck down some leftover foam. And I'm now going to paper mache that into place before decorating. I've trimmed it down a bit now, so it's a bit more natural, a bit smoother and better looking. So now we've just got to put the paper mache on for the next stage to be done. All right, so paper mache applied, plenty of watered down PVA on it, soaking through. It's gone up to the edges of my grass, left a little bit of uh, space there for the old posty to walk down. There's uh, some more over here, so I just need to paint that once that's dried a bit, and then uh, it should look a lot better. What do we reckon? What do we reckon? Oh, I say, rather. That looks a lot better, visually far better, and that's before I've even grassed it. Good, pleased with that. Just got to check certain things like this is a roadway, so that little piece there, I don't really want, do I? Look at that, that's going to be far more sensible as an option. Brilliant, loving it. Good plan. Here we go then. A nice coating of green, ready to apply some ground foam. Green and a little bit of PVA as well. There we are. So that's my first lot of foam down there. First lot of scatter. So I'll leave that to stick and dry. And then I'll hoover up the spare and drop it back down with some more PVA. And then I think I'm gonna to have to make a bit more foam. But unfortunately, there seems to be a shortage of sponges in town at the moment. Must be a coronavirus run on sponges, lockdown sponge frenzy. But never mind, for now, I've got it down enough to, to be able to view it and see it and see how it's gonna look, see how it's gonna end up certainly think that's better than it was just a quick one postman brought some of my 1981 wagons today <gasps> smith's crisps wheatabags i go with my united dairies and my so one those of course were the ones on the original thing Pale Thorpe's pork sausages, and there's my bolts over, and the LBSC, and oh, it's all coming on. I got busy again. I've made up loads and loads of ground foam. So I've gone over that again, with a load of PVA, and a load of sprinkles. The thick stuff that I couldn't get really fine has gone down first, filling in some of those lumps and cracks and crevices to look a bit more bushy. And then I've put on the various shades. So they were they were ground down from the car sponges and then dried out in front of a fan and a fan heater at work last night. So that is how it now looks in my goods yard. So I've got a few planks there made out of Costa coffee stirrers, a couple of pallets and off cuts of rail. And then let's just pop the old goods shed down. So once it's all dried up nicely, you can see it's far more pleasing to the eye. It's going to work a lot better now. Okay, I think we're about there now. Look at that. Looks way more sensible. So you've still got a bit of space to get to your postal bag place. And there's the other one. A bit of space for unloading and so on. And that's uh, just visually far more appealing. So I've got to pop pop some of the trees back in place that I removed from there. And I've bought some barrels and some packing crates, which I'm currently painting up, so they can go there. All this cargo. Still got the oxygen die cast stuff on there. Um, 
Oh yeah, so what else have I been doing? I've been buying some more wagons. So, we'll come to that with our next update. There we go, there we have it. So that is my goods area. Leading on to that. 